What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warm Avid is another superhero hub bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we're doing part three, I think this is part three, of our uh, combination tutorials to do the sword combination that you saw in the beginning of this video. Now as you can see I have two swords in my hands right now. One is a sentry sword that is meant for cutting or training and stuff like that. And the other is a tricking sword from Cochran's. Now you can get both links in the description or if you want to review to see more about both i'll also have links to those videos in this video either in the cards or at the end of the video or in the description it'll be somewhere you'll be able to find it so with that said before we can get into the actual tutorial we gotta run that intro for this video i'll be using the cochran's XMA tricking sword because this is a trick that we're going to be doing. So for the behind the back, this is a more advanced move because it is a little dangerous. So be careful if you're using an actual sword to train with this. I highly suggest you don't do that. Use a either, you know, a tricking sword or use a PVC pipe or a stick or something else that isn't going to put you in danger when you try this trick. You're going to start off with your sword out to your side. Now I'm going to be my back's facing you so you can see how I do this a little easier. However, you're going to first work on your upward flip, which means your blade goes up. And this is the flip that you want to get control of. You want this to be easy. There needs to be no, let me take off my ring real quick. There needs to be no hesitation when you do this trick. It's just up and over. Just a nice, easy spin. Because this is how you're going to toss it when you catch it behind your head. The next step for this trick is super easy. It's just getting your catching hand prepared. It's going to be behind your head, palm facing up, just like this. So that when you toss your sword, it's going to come up and the handle will land right in your hand just like that. Now the trick is to get the center to move. You don't want to toss it like a rainbow because otherwise it will go way over your hand and you'll completely miss it. You want to spin it and move the center of the spin, the center of the circle, towards the back of your head just like this. Now again, it is very important that you spin the blade as opposed to tossing the blade. Tossing the blade will cause it to go off somewhere and you won't have a chance of catching it. However, spinning it will allow you to catch it behind your head just like that. Now, don't be afraid of it. Yes, you can get hurt. It's an occupational hazard, but if you are afraid of your weapon, you will act afraid of your weapon. And so if you freak out every time you toss it, you're asking yourself to get hurt more than you actually should be. Like, if you freak out once you toss it, you're more likely to get hurt than if you stay calm and do what you've been practicing and do the trick the correct way. So when you do this, stay calm and catch your sword. Or, or go for it and miss, even if you mess up. Staying calm will keep yourself safe. Another minute movement is when you toss, if you watch my shoulder, once I toss it, I move my shoulder forward out of the way. I just pull that shoulder forward, just to get it out of the way so the sword has more room to, to flip without actually hitting my shoulder. One more time. So I hope you enjoy this. If you want to see part four, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss when I post it. And if you really don't want to miss it, just hit the um, the bell so you definitely will get notified whenever I post next. Uh, hope you enjoy this. This it will be the last part. We'll be putting the trick together in that last episode. So if you've been following the trick this far, you'll be able to do the whole thing. And if this is your first video in this series, definitely go out and check the previous videos. They'll be you know in my channel. It's, it's all this week. So it's the four most recent videos. All you got to do is check them out and, you know, learn from them. But make sure you are always being safe when you are practicing sword tricks. Even if it's a dull sword, it can still hurt you. So be careful. However, with that said, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja. And I'm out. <laughs>